Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a must-have extension for your Overleaf project. It is called Rightful, and it allows us to perform some grammar check to make sure that our test does not contain grammar errors, but it also has two very nice features, which are paraphrasing and title generation. I'm going to limit this video to the free version of Rightful, because with Rightful you can also buy different plan and you can get the pro version, but I think that unless you write a lot of papers, it could be a little bit pricey. However, I will show you that the two features that I like most of Rightful are actually for free, so I don't think you even need the pro version. At the end of the video, I will show you how to add the extension to Chrome or Opera. As you can see, I'm using Opera, but this tutorial also works on Chrome. So at the end, I will show you how to install Rightful on Chrome, and then I will take you all the steps on how to use it. I think uh, there are also other extensions, which I've already covered in another video, which is one uh, overleaf text area, which does uh, an even better job, I think, than Rightful uh, in order to correct grammar mistake. So I will put uh, a link here at the top uh, of my video on overleaf text area, and I will show you how the two extensions compare. I will also talk about Quillbot, which is also an amazing tool that you can use to paraphrase uh, sentences. But let's start uh, and let's see which are the main features of Rightful. So the first main feature of Rightful is that you can use it uh, in order to check grammar mistake. As you can see here on purpose, I have a grammar mistake in my text. And Rightful is picking up this mistake here. Rightful is designed to pick up more mistakes than the classic overleaf grammar check. Unfortunately, it works well, but not amazingly well. So if you read carefully this sentence here, there is also another error in this sentence, and I did it on purpose, which is here, okay? But Rightful was not able to pick up this error. I'm not entirely sure if he picked it up, but he's actually wanting me to buy the premium version of the tool and therefore is not displaying that error and that could be an option but I think that the free plan in order to correct grammar mistake is not that great because as you can see here we should have read that or which describe but there is a mistake but rightful was not able to pick it up so let's replace this verb here by just clicking on the verb and it's telling us that asserts should be the right verb so let's click on replace and it's actually now finding another mistake because because of this verb here was wrong and I on purpose made this verb here wrong as well He's saying that uh, this verb might be wrong. So let's click here. So now it does, does not have 100% uh, confidence in saying that uh, acted should be the right verb, but he's saying that in 94% of the cases, uh, acted should be the right verb. And this is actually, in fact, correct. So let me change this one too. Unfortunately, in my text, if you read it carefully, there are more mistakes. And I think in this case, overleaf text area does a better job. So let's see what Grammarly and Overleaf Text Area are actually suggesting us. So here I've installed Grammarly and Overleaf Text Area. Again, if you want to know more about these two tools, just check my other video. But let's activate the Overleaf Text Area, and we can see that actually Grammarly is picking up many more errors. So first of all, here it shouldn't be who describe, but it should be that describe. And then here we have the wrong verb form, because it should be exerts. And then here it should have been a force instead of force. And same here. So unfortunately, Rightful, he was not doing a great job. And even before, even if he would have had the premium version, he would have not picked up those errors. Because as you could see, there is still this one error that you can only get with the premium version, but he was not able to pick up all the other mistakes that Grammarly has. So let's go back, actually, let me show you again. So I'm reverting all the changes. So Grammarly, as you can see, picks up all the errors, but Rightful is telling us that there are only two premiums uh, two errors that we can get with the premium account, but in fact, uh, according to Grammarly, there are at least uh, four errors. So let's fix, them, let's fix them again. With this example, you may conclude that uh, you don't even need Rightful, and you can just use uh, Overleaf Text Area. But still, I think uh, you need to install this tool because it has a very nice functionality. So let's say that here we want to expand a bit the text, and uh, we want to write a title for our document. So let's disable Overleaf Text Area here. Let's actually delete the title here. And let's see this functionality, because I think it's very nice. You just have to write uh, an abstract here, and then here you have backward slash, and you can say make title for real. This, as you can see, is a function of Rightful, so it only appears if you have Rightful installed on your, uh, as an extension. And if you click here, it's going to create a title, and it's going to add a title here for you. Newton's law of motion and its application in mechanics. I think it's great. I think this functionality, I think is very nice because it can generate title for you. And if you don't like this title, you can run the same command again. And in some cases, it's going to create a new title for you. So let's run it again. And as you can see, it has changed the title. So we can cycle it through, see a couple of titles that we like, and then we can go back with Control Zeta and then choose the title that we like the most. 
So I think this is a very nice functionality, and this is why I would really encourage you to install Rightful as an extension. But uh, I still have not shown you the best features uh, that it provides for free. The best feature that it provides for free is paraphrasing. Of course, you can use Quillbot. And again, I have another video on Quillbot, which is an amazing web tool. I will put a link here in a card at the top. Check it out because you will find it amazing and you will use it for sure. But Quillbot, you have to visit their website, paraphrase the text, and then copying it back. Here is much easier because it's all integrated inside Overleaf. So let's see how we can use the paraphraser. Let's go on Wikipedia. Let's get a sentence here. So we want to paraphrase this sentence here. We go back to Rightful. And then we go on paraphrase, and then we use the command backward slash paraphrase. Inside curly braces, we just have to copy and paste the sentence that we want to paraphrase. And then after we press enter. This has paraphrased the sentence for us. So let's, let me copy the sentence again from Wikipedia just to compare the two sentences and see what he has done. You can see that this is the sentence from Wikipedia. And this was changed by um, Rightful. And this is very nice because, of course, then we can further paraphrase the sentence if we want to. But this has already helped us a lot because it has already created like a sentence which is different enough so we don't uh, have uh, copyright issues or uh, we are not uh, uh, copying straight uh, from the other text. But it's good enough and then you can further change it and further, further tweak it. And as you can see, let's run a quick scan with the overleaf text area. And this sentence also is grammatically correct. So this, I think, is a very nice feature because we didn't have to do anything and we could paraphrase this sentence. Another thing that I want to show you is how to change the paraphrasing. So right now we use the medium option. So in that case, we are paraphrasing the text, but not that much. But we can also select high, low, or medium. So if you say paraphrasing high, and this is explained in their documentation, so I will put a link to their documentation down in the video description, you can see that you can indicate the level of paraphrasing that you wish. It could be low, medium, or high. So let's do the same thing that we did before, but in this case we use high, and then we use curly braces, and then we paste the sentence. And let's see what happens. So this, as you can see, has changed even more the sentence and it has paraphrased it so we can then basically use it in our document and of course we'll have to cite Wikipedia if you took the sentence from Wikipedia or from another paper. And as you can see, and as you can see in this case it's actually picking up that there might be an error. So the second law stipulates at the speed at which a body changes, momentum, over time is directly proportional. So it has paraphrased for us, there was a small mistake but it was able to pick up the mistake and correct it. Let's check with the overleaf text area and see that there are no errors. So we are confident that this sentence is fine. And even Grammarly cannot pick up an error here. So technically this sentence is fine and we can use it in our paper. After of course we properly cite it. Last thing that I want to show you is how to install Rightful on your web browser. So you can install it on any web browser that support uh, that is built with Chromium. So it works on Opera, Brave, and also Google Chrome. So in order to, to install it, you just need to search for the extension. But before I show you this, I just would like you to ask you if you like this type of video, and if you like this video, to just like my video, and if you can, just to subscribe to my channel. It really helps a lot, and it is free. It doesn't cost you anything. If, however, you also want to further support my channel and support my work, you can do so by buying me a coffee or by supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate if you like to do that. However, no need for you to do that. The content is for free, but just please like the video or write a comment if you like this type of video. So let's see how we can install Rightful. So we can search for Rightful extension. And here we can see the Chrome store. We can click on Add to Chrome, Add extension. It has been added to Chrome, so we can go back to our document in Chrome. We can refresh Overleaf. And here, as you can see straight away, we have Rightful in our Overleaf project. We just have to do one last thing. We need to log in. So I've already created an account. You can create an account for free by putting your email and password. You have to do this only the first time. You will then receive an email and you just have to confirm your email. It's that simple. Otherwise you can click, otherwise you can click on login. And then here I can use just my login. So Rightful here, I can log in. And this is going to log in and this is going to check the document. Thank you very much for listening. I really hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video.